Namaste beautiful yogis today we are doing what I eat in a day video and what my toddler eats in a day video I am getting ready to work out and I'll show you what I do in the morning now first I did make coffee I go in and out of my coffee habit in a French press I made it in a French press and I a few years ago I bought a stainless steel French press because I kept breaking the glass ones so this one is nice and it will last me and I'm making matcha now with ashwagandha I've been making a lot of uh, ashwagandha lattes and I keep making lattes throughout the day just because they make me feel good they give me energy clarity whatever however you design them they usually support your system with uh, superfood so instead of milk i'm gonna use coconut butter just a spoon of coconut butter and water and when you blend that it becomes um it becomes coconut milk so let me show you so you just go and look how beautiful it is it's just um blended coconut so it's not just the oil but it's also the coconut it, it's just all the coconut solids and a spoon of this goes into the goes into the blender i just blended celery for sophie in this blender and i'm just gonna use the same blender with the just tiny bits of celery you see and the coconut all right and ashwagandha I just got this one, this ashwagandha. I put a, a good, let me get a clean spoon. I put a, a nice, kind of half a teaspoon, but of awfully full. So that's like a teaspoon. And I can do this even twice a day. What I have right now is the stevia hazelnut. It's all right, it has on it. I have coconut, maybe coconut is better to go with matcha, but that's okay. Let's do hazelnut stevia. And let me grab the matcha. And this matcha is from Whole Foods, I got it, and it's a really beautiful color. Can you, can you tell how beautiful it is? yeah and you see the quantity sometimes i go a little heavier than this and so fits there and water and that will blend i added also uh, some of the hot water some of the cool water so it's not too hot and it's probably the right temperature for a latte and we are ready To serve it I didn't mean it to be so exact but it is it just this is it we have a matcha latte matcha ashwagandha ashwagandha reduces stress and it makes you it makes you kind of happier And another reason why I've been having so many herbal lattes is just to stay hydrated because it's so hot here and it's very important to just keep drinking. I drink lattes in the first part of the day, kind of like herbal lattes plus um, a black coffee with nothing in it and sometimes matcha, sometimes just mushroom lattes. But in the second part of the day i just drink water sometimes lemonade uh, lemon water all right so that's the morning and this is what i basically um drink before the workout so that i'm on empty stomach not really completely empty obviously but um no food in my belly <laughs> all right guys so i am going while um i'm working out and while lori is still sleeping 
I am going to boil some potatoes because she likes simple food. She likes beans, she likes potatoes, uh, pasta, stuff like that, and, and of course veggies and fruits. So I'm going to make the potatoes as part of her breakfast. And she only, that's so funny, she, if you have a toddler, do they do that? Um, she only likes to eat one thing at a time. If I put two things on her tray, she picks off one of the things. Like she can't have two things. If I put, say, peas and pasta, she'd pick off the peas. She can eat them later, just not together, <laughs> not on the same tray. This is like very important. And we've had a few emotional, this whole period has been quite emotional. So, because we, I don't know, if you follow me on Instagram, which follow me on there because I share quite often. Um, uh, in, oh, in the group I shared, yeah, we received some um, news about Sophie and she has a heart condition. Here she is resting. So many people love Sophie. Hey, Sophie, Sophie. Uh, so it's been emotional. She's doing okay, but uh, we don't know uh, the prognosis and so forth. And John is waiting for me to hang a painting, to help him hang a painting. We decided to do this dining room as a Moroccan style. It's a Moroccan style sitting on the floor, pillows, you know, that kind of hookah bar style and we're gonna he has a really cool old persian painting that's from the uh, qajar dynasty which was a persian dynasty so it was actually it was actually in the in the old palace in tehran was it really no yeah. i didn't know that yeah, yeah. ah all right wow hmm. now <laughs> i'm impressed <laughs> um yeah so we're uh, hanging this it's a female a musician right mm -hmm. It's a female musician, he has a particular, like that dark background feel. And we're gonna do kinda, you know, that, that beautiful like golden, and I imagine a royal purple with a bright blue and yellow pillows and sitting on the floor so we can have dinner and a low table here. Yeah, so we're trying to center the painting and let's see how it looks good uh, a little higher this i think this looks good yeah so right up there yeah yeah do you need me to okay yeah so it's been quite emotional i'm missing la and bulgaria like you wouldn't believe it and we haven't been able to explore austin because we had emotional days with sophie and it's super hot so it's kind of a combination we can't go out with baby around really. and baby and on top of it i was supposed to be in bulgaria now and i postponed my vacation because it's not a vacation but it, it is a vacation that, you understand it's visiting family but we go to so many amazing beautiful resorty places there that is the black sea yeah and he said yeah hot springs and hiking so we're kind of stuck in the heat and missing both of my previous homes and johnny has lived in los angeles since he was five four. since he was four so you can imagine and he's uh 40 Nine? Did you turn 49? So 45 years. 45 years. And this one, she's a Los Angelino. She's a Los Angelino. And she kind of got sick here, so we don't know if the heat contributed to it. I mean, the condition was existing, but it wasn't, but it was asymptomatic, so we didn't know about it. Look at that mushy face, mushy, mushy face. We love Sophie. Oh, we love Sophie. She has always had a lot of pain in her life, arthritic pain, because she has hip dysplasia. And we think shoulder something, maybe, because shoulder dysplasia. When she was a year old, the vet said she had maybe a year left. Yeah, now, so. I cried so much for Sophie, especially when they told us she will live to be one, that they told us she will live to be three, four at the most. 
she her birthday is october 14th and she's five years and what 10 months now and um, she has flinching but flinching i know it's a sign of pain in dogs uh, and her flinching is mostly on the left shoulder not so much the hips when you touch her she kind of she's kind of jumpy even when she expects you to touch her sometimes you're touching her once she flinches second time she flinches third uh, but right now she's not doing it i'll show you later she always does it to some degree but sometimes a lot i haven't seen her be this relaxed should we put the fan over you so you're cool baby Okay, I'm gonna make one more latte because I've been just moving around and haven't done my workout yet, so might as well make one more latte. I've been taking little bites in the morning and I feel better kind of picking through the day and then eating uh, more in the evening. So um, I'll make one more latte and then I have to decide if I'm gonna do a live maybe yoga session. Let's see, I don't know, I haven't done a live in a long time because I feel like if I'm going to be doing live, I should be doing it on a schedule every Tuesday. So a few months down the line, everybody kind of expects it. Otherwise, it's out of nowhere. Uh, so um, this is so delicious. It's a coconut peanut butter mix. That's going to be my, uh, my um, milk base. I'll do the 10 mushroom blend by Four Sigmatic. I've been drinking mushrooms every day for immunity and all kinds of other benefits. And on most days, I feel them. To them, the least inspired I've been in the last few weeks. I've been feeling like massive, you know, gut level from the gut inspiration, which is my natural state, but also when I am healthy, I achieve my natural state. Wow look at this we are bringing my brother this because he wanted me to um buy them locally they don't have them in bulgaria and we um we ordered 13 don't break them please <laughs> no <laughs> uh yeah so those are glowing because they spin fire and they have a whole circus and literally they run a circus and um so i'm gonna do mushroom blend um it's uh, the ashwagandha and the mushroom and i think just hydrating is what has made me feel good and also picking through the day not eating a big meal which kind of weighs you down and i'm not quite intermittent fasting but somewhat intermittent fasting meaning i don't eat big meals sometimes i eat uh, kind of like um i've been having this um sunflower butter organic sunflower butter based um chocolate bars i'll pick those through the day and i kind of eat one even one and a half and but just picking and that has made me feel good and then watermelon and for dinner veggies with a dip i'll try to make this dip for you today so you can see it my latest uh, simple dip and now I'll, I'll do actually i'll add cinnamon cayenne and ginger to the mushrooms and the cacao I have ordered from Amazon herbs, so maybe I'll share that when they come in my next uh, vlog, but I've ordered a bunch of herbs for more uh, lattes. Cannot wait because these lattes are like really, really supportive of your system. You know what? I'm gonna also put nettle in this particular latte. It's here in Sophie's supplements, but I'll put some nettle powder all right i probably should organize a little more my pantry but i'm still not unpacked completely so peanut butter is so ridiculously good it just it's crazy and then the mushroom blend now you see how I make my herbal lattes, the mushroom blend. Now instead of mushrooms, you can blend, you can do just reishi, just um, chaga, but chaga doesn't powder well, so you have to just do a water extraction of chaga. Um, cacao just for fun, and it's 
you bring the mushroom kind of takes like cacao, so I might as well put a, a big spoon. It also is kind of magnesium. So that's good. Nettles, some breastfeeding, so it's good. I don't add them often because I do it a lot of grains. But I'm a little bit tired because she woke me up an hour earlier than I should have gotten up. I still slept now, but I would have slept a little more. Cayenne, ginger. If you have fresh ginger, even better. Decoction. Cook it on the stove. Cinnamon. I have a whole massive bag of uh, Ceylon cinnamon, so I better find some more ways to use it because I should use it all up. And did I put everything in? Yeah, that's it. And water and blend. I actually put warm, hotish water because when you put co co coconut butter in it, it emulsifies better. Um, this is not like boiling hot, but it is hot. Oh, I didn't put a sweet in the rain. Now you can put dates in it or stevia. I'm gonna put this stevia in. Is it focusing? Okay. Stevia, stevia, stevia. All right, that's it. Blend and ready to go. Here it is. Half a blender full of latte. Do you want some of it? Sure. Uh, this is not with ashwagandha, so I'll re blend with ashwagandha for you because it's been. The ashwagandha has really, really allowed me to kind of, I don't know, I do feel that it makes me happy. Obviously, you can get happiness from outside, but if you are relaxed, hydrated, you eat well, your greens, everything, your nutrition, sleep, etc. is in place, then you can more access your higher um, state of uh, existence. For me, my natural state is inspiration. I'm feeling kind of, it's, it's the Aries fire and in the human design it is a generator. Um, so feeling that internal just fire, that's my natural state. And sometimes if, uh, if I'm feeling sad, whatever, I'm outside of, out of my natural state, if I'm not eating properly or sleeping enough, etc., then I, I'm not in my natural state of inspiration and fire. So that's why we are doing all this in order to just be in our higher frequency state of what we already are. Just being in exactly what we are in its highest expression. All right, I will add a little bit of um, a struggle less here so that I can give it to Johnny. All right, uh, hold on, hold on, I'm making you a latte. So for him, I did put a little bit of stevia, but also I put Moscovado. Sugar, it's really a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's basically unrefined cane syrup. Here is my latte. Here is Lotus potato. I cut it up so it's cool uh, when she wakes up. And here is Johnny's latte. I'm sure it's more than a cup here, is it? A little more left. That's it. We'll take it to him because he wants to show me the... Uh, do you want to show me? Wow. It has a little bit of cinnamon and cayenne and nettles. It's like a powerhouse. This is so delicious. You guys have to make it. Uh, cinnamon, ginger, cayenne, nettle, ashwagandha, cacao, four sigmatic uh, time blend mushroom. And so feel free to substitute any of those things for something, for a different herb that is palatable. The nettle works so well with cacao, I would have not expected it. I started doing that recently and it works so well. And nettle is so good for blood, building your blood, making you strong. If you are pale, um, that sign of uh, anemia, add nettle and drink a few of those in the morning. Totally, you will feel it. This is more potent. Um, it has almost 
I felt the cayenne more almost weird. All right, um, I'll come back. This company, it's actually part of the owners are Bulgarian. I decided to become an affiliate with them and I will add, um, for now I'll add the links below uh, this video uh, to them because we fell in love with um, the product and uh, Johnny also fell in love with it and I'll add it to my website um, this uh, particular powder it's green powder and when I lived in California I could make celery juice pretty much every day because produce is far cheaper there here I, I'm not gonna get like seven bunches of celery every day uh, seriously there I could do that but this is very convenient it's all organic it's perlina Chlorella, organic spirulina, organic chlorella, organic blue green algae, organic wheat grass, organic alfalfa grass, organic barley grass, you get it all organic, old grass, noni extract, moringa, astragalus, kale, got to call it lemon bitter melon, uh, and it has mouth fruit as a sweetener, so it's actually naturally uh, already sweet, you don't have to sweeten it. And we've been taking um, kind of like a good spoon, both of us, through the day. And just water. There it is. It mixes well. And it's just a serious superfood. And we take it throughout the day. It's a green, raw, organic blend. And I am planning to add it to my website under shop section, which I want to create, where I'll carry. I'm working on it now, starting to work on it, but I'll probably carry some of my personal mer merchandise, such as Namaste Beautiful Yogi's uh, t shirts and other things, and a few products that I love, such as this one will be the first I will add, and I'll, I'll select just the things that I. I love, I purchase, I repeatedly purchase, etc. I want to add to my lifestyle. Put the red button. And she did not want the potatoes yet, later. For now, just she just wants beans. Later we'll do something. Maybe pasta with uh, kale pesto, and that's what Johnny is cooking for himself. Oh, by the way, check out our matching bohemian pants i think they're from Ele elephant island i think elephant to island from thailand she loves these beans and she she kind of wants them dry with nothing on them so that will be one meal and then potatoes and pasta with kale Casual vegan pesto would be another meal, and then she'll have some of my fruit. Oh, and some of my green juice, by the way. She loves that green juice. I'll go get it in a little bit. And she's got all kinds of new teeth. Oh, yeah. So she gets that rush by her, uh, by, on the side of her mouth when she's getting new teeth, and she has a bunch of new teeth in the back, some of the molars. But I think one is not, one is now growing and she got a rush, kind of angry. <coughs> angry rush. And she likes that green powder, but that's how she drinks. <laughs> so we have to put the catch, catcher. She does like it. Maybe I should put it in her bottle. Yeah, it was spilled on the ground, yes. And down, uh, because no, she cannot stand any type of stains and dust particles on the floor. So, this is Johnny's uh, meal. I'll start making the pesto when I get oh. ingredients. Oopsies. So it's a um, Trader Joe's vegan kale cashew basil pesto. It's easy, easy to make at home. I have to get my hands on basil, which I guess I have to go to a farmer's market. For now, 
I have to figure out where to shop and then I'll start growing certain things. And hummus. So he both pasta and puts a lot of pesto hummus. Hummus just makes it a little creamy. Yeah, it's nice. And this one is just cashews, basil and kale. It's very easy to make, so I'll have to make it. And this one needs a little bit of it. Yeah, oh, and I will eat a ton of figs right now. Not all of this, this is very spare underneath this, but I eat a lot of figs. And here is my meal. And she's impressed by it, I think, because she's requesting. Ah, oh, no, we gotta return. <laughs> Anyways, they're phenomenal. But it's a return, she's done. And the watermelon in Texas is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Seriously, the best watermelon I've had and consistently every watermelon is ridiculous. Sophie is a very good catcher. Do it one more time for the for the camera. <laughs> Everybody wants watermelon here. She loves watermelon too, but aggravates her lip. I had a few, a few bowls of figs and now I have a bowl of grapes and that's that's it for now. I had, I had half of this bar, yesterday I had one and a half and today I just finished the half. It's, I'm obsessed with these bars. They are, this is covered in chocolate and it's so much chocolate on top, they're just delicious. They remind me of something that, I don't know what they remind me of, but they're really delicious, they're organic, and they're based on sunflower butter, this one, I think. So, they're creamy and kind of yummy. So I just blended four celery sticks with a lemon and water and I will drink that. I didn't strain it. Maybe I should have, but let's see. Mmm, it's delicious. I I love celery. This is ridiculously good. You wanna try it, Johnny? Uh no, you're not for food actually. <laughs> and Lottie likes lettuce. She actually really likes iceberg lettuce. <coughs> All right, finishing today, finishing the day with, I made another celery juice because I like it so much, but it's not really juice because it's blended. Just celery, lime, or lemon, and water. No, um, I didn't strain it. And I'm preparing to make my dip. So for the dip, I will. Okay, so I covered my mic and I'll just tell you what I used. I used tofu and celery 
and those powders, spices, whatever spices I have, I just am trying to finish them. Um, uh, this particular hot sauce from Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's, try it out. You see how thick it is? It's not like Tabasco, kind of vinegary. This is rather like a paste, like a pepper paste. It's not super hot, but it is super flavorful. Uh, and this is all the craze right now in Texas. It's a uh, hatch peppers. So I got a container with roasted hatch peppers to kind of give it a try uh, from Whole Foods because it was all over the store. It was just the, the thing. And I got a container and I used some in my dip. I threw, I cleaned out the burnt parts, washed the pepper and threw it in the blender with the tofu and the celery and the spices and sometimes balsamic vinegar. And that's um, the dip. I made, I think, one more bigger dip because um, this wasn't that big of a dip. You see the ingredients are not that many. This was a small dip. I made a bigger dip after that and that's so we're watching uh, possibly the least vegan show on the planet it's anthony bourdain yeah, england episode it's interesting i don't know why and um the i put a whole hatch chili in my dip i cleaned it up and washed it i peeled all the blackened stuff washed it and it went into the dip and then the dip has on top some kelp powder and and that's it it's really delicious i totally recommend the, the roasted chili in the tofu and celery dip